I think we're going to be very good. I think this is going to be probably the best we've been in my four years here. We've got a lot of talent, a lot of dynamic players. We've got people from our new two goalies that are starting in the back to new midfielders. Everyone's fighting for a spot. It's going to be good. It's really exciting having an, an entire new class of freshmen come in. It's the start of a new season, a full season. We get a preseason this year, which is nice. So yeah, I'm excited. Every year when the players come in for preseason, they know it's going to be grueling. Um, it's We're in this Memphis heat. We have fitness tests three days in a row, 6 a.m., and then we have two trainings later that day. And then this year we added a scrimmage on the fourth day of preseason. So this preseason has been really good. I mean, it's everything I expected. Hard work, really intense, players getting after it, players um, looking to cement their place in the lineup. We have another big class coming in. I think it's 11 kids and they're all hard workers, very determined to play. I mean, some of them we've already seen in preseason are going to get significant minutes this year. And they're just coming in and adding more and more competition, which is always good in the, in the squad. I mean, the starting 11 should never be complacent. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're putting pressure on all of the starters and looking to play. We have a lot of midfielders, which is good for our play style. We have people who are going to be able to be moved to play up top playing forward. People are going to be moved to playing defense and people who are just going to be sitting in the midfield doing what they need to do for us to win. We have a lot of strength in the midfield and out wide. Um, the likes of Jeffrey Mason, Aiden Sullivan in the midfield um, will establish a really good core to the team, but also we have players like Ben Barfield, Wes Adams, Jesus Tadeo out wide who are tricky players who will look to unlock the defense and cause problems. So there's just a few names to keep an eye on this year. I think the fans should keep an eye on uh, both the goalies because we lost our senior goalie who's coming, gonna come back. That didn't work out. And the two incoming freshman goalies are both very competitive and they're fighting for a spot and they're both very good. I'd describe the coaching style as they're just very dedicated. They want to see us winning on the field and off the field, which is something that carries over to us as individuals and uh, as, a, as a team. In practice, I mean, their trainings are intense and they're very attentive to details, which allows them to improve individuals. But also, they look at those details and they see how they can improve the team in general as well. The strength of the schedule is going to be challenging. We're playing teams such as Emory. Uh, I know Center's going to have another good team, Swanee. We're playing teams we didn't get to play last year because of the, the pandemic. We're playing teams out of Texas who are very good. So yeah, it's going to be very challenging for us, but I think we're up to the task. Last year, we didn't have any out of conference games, but um, this year we have some strong teams that we're playing that aren't in the SAA, like UT Dallas and Emory. And those will be really good tests for us, um, especially for those SAA games that really matter. And um, for the lineup, I mean, we have a lot of good players all over the pitch. Um, the past couple of years, we've only graduated three seniors each, each year. And this year we only have three seniors again. So we're only adding in depth and in strength and the squad just continues to get better and better every year. I'm very confident that this year we're going to have a winning season. We're going to make it far in the tournament and we're just going to leave it all out there. Do you want to see some goals and some hard tackles and some hard workers come out and support your men's links? September 17th against North Central College. We're trying to win this season. I think this is our best shot yet, so come out and support us. Let's go!